A warm welcome from me to all of you. Good morning to SBR online classes. So, in the previous classes, we have put the lesson number nine, the challenger, the challenger conqueror, Pandit Doctor Kutraj Gawai. So, today the speciality of the day. Uh, at first, I want to tell before starting the lesson. So today is 18th of December, which is the International International Migrant Migrants Day, and the Arabic Language Day. The Arabic language day. This both came on Monday. UNESCO have declared the international migrants day. What is the meaning of migrant? People are moving from one place to another. Like moving from one country to another, they are uh, developing the name, they are just brought up in the name of our country and they are brought up in their uh, business, their uh, what to say, education. Many children, they got the nice scholarship. Many students, they got the nice scholarship. They are studying in the foreign country. And many have been settled there by, uh, what to say, by business, by uh, private jobs, which are hired from the foreign country. And they are giving the nice packages to the Indians and everyone. So this day is celebrated for them, International Migrant Day. And the Arabic language, this is the most oldest language in the history. Yes, you can do the research on this. Arabic languages, uh, what is to say, they are uh, not similar to all the languages. They are totally different. The writing starts from the writing starts from the uh, what to say, this one, last corner in the corner of the page. And it's, uh, what to say, if a person is having a thirst of learning, a quenchness of learning, he will learn Arabic language. Because it, uh, it's, uh, what to say, its writing flow is very different from other. Like uh, in uh, English, uh, A, B, C, D, R, A, B, C, D, till uh, Z, we are having the alphabets. Like in Arabic language, where uh, in Kannada, for example, where in Kannada and Hindi, Whereas in Kannada and Hindi, these are the languages, their, uh, what to say, Vartakshar and Gita, these all things will come. But in the Arabic language, where the translation of the word comes in this, similar, uh, Arabic language is similar to Urdu. So when we are speaking Urdu, when we are speaking Urdu, their Vartakshar Deva will not consider. So it is totally different and it takes First, there was, uh, there was Arabic language to study. In the schools, first was, uh, sorry, Urdu language. Arabic is the a brother of Urdu. Where in Arabic also, some will come, like what I should take, some will come. There it is there. So, there we are using that, that uh, symbols and then we are making the language words completely. So, if anyone wants to learn Arabic language, it is... Uh, unimaginable. We can't uh, say the words very nicely because, see, if we are from Kannada medium, from English medium, or any other medium, it is difficult for us. If from word we are learning, it is very easy for us. So, it is an official languages and modern old language. Yes, it is compared to both. Nowadays, also people are going to learn. And uh, in the past years, in the past ancient days, also people were having the thirst to learn. See, uh, some quits and thoughts are written in mostly in Arabic languages or Urdu languages. So both are little bit similar, Urdu language and Arabic language. If we are going to learn Arabic language, it is very, uh, what to say, it is a precious language where we are going to learn that. If we learn, then we are passing all the way. Mm. 
clear my explanation for today's importance days I have completed. So now I start my lesson, which is the the challenge is conquered and he wanted to run away about his life and how he had uh, became a successful composer, writer, proprietor, everything we are going to discuss. So that day I took page number 106. Then I have went to the page number 107, which is uh, fourth line I have completed. Then I have to start from fifth line. So there, he dedicated his entire life for educating the visually challenged and destitute children. What do you mean by destitute children? And visually challenged. What is the meaning of this? Destitute, those who don't have home, orphans, those who are orphans, don't uh, feel like what I'm saying. It is, it is in the lesson, so I have to give the explanation for that. So, it is the home for destitute children and usually child, those who don't have vision correct, vision proper, uh, those who have IQ level problem, those who are uh, blind, sorry for that, I have used that word. So, those who are having a handicapped nature from the eye or body, he was the example and he was the godfather for them, to so think like that. So then, though he was an embodiment of knowledge, yeah, some people, they have a lots of knowledge of them. They have lots of knowledge, but they won't show it because uh, they want to keep hiding it. Some people, they can understand their knowledge of but some people they cannot understand them, what they say and what they want to do. So in uh, in our students also some people, some boys or some girls are having that knowledge. But they are having a fear. If they will do, anyone will scold. So remove that fear and do whatever you want, a nice, a brilliant thing. Uh, you should appear for the talented exams. You should appear for the Olympics games. You should appear for everything. Quizards and all. If uh, suddenly from school comes, it is not like that. From you also, you should try. From you also, you should enhance yourself and you should try yourself. So then, he considered himself as Kutra. Yes. Kutra Jigavai was saying that every time I am a uh, younger boy. Okay. So, small in everything. His dedication to his guru was a great. See, one story is there, uh, very long back, I heard from you people, uh, many uh, many stories are there between a student and a teacher. So here one story is there, uh, Eklavya and uh, something his name, I don't know his guru name, I forgot. So between him and, because uh, see what happened that time in the past ancient days, Many king's children were earning the knowledge and learning everything, Sanskrit language and how to conquer the, uh, what to say, mathematics and all, they were learning. So, everything they were learning. But that time, a poor person, uh, what to say, from the caste, backward caste, they will say like that, I don't know. So, many were having that problem means they were not learning anything. People were having the hesitation to take in the, in the classroom or take in the, take the class, to, class to them. Nowadays, it is not like this. All are equal. We all are having the rights to talk. We, are, uh, we all are having the rights to live. So, everyone is equal and everyone should be equal. Because first thing, we are the human being. Afterward, we all are having the religion, caste. We should keep it aside. We should think about only our, what to say, humanity. We should keep it in our ourselves as humanity. If anyone is suffering, we should help them. That is what our humanity it is there in ourselves. So some people have, some people I will not say, many people they have, but they will not show. Some they have, they will show. So he was having 
full of knowledge he considered himself as putta small in everything his dedication to his guru was great and it speaks of his great humility so in that past days what happens eklavya was a great student he was just seeing near the tree and he was not going to that uh, Uh, guru cool at all he was watching what his guru was doing with the students what he was working he was just really observing and he did all the work once what happens he had he told that he will take him inside in the classroom and then uh, but you should sit uh, separately you shouldn't be mingling with every king's son and princess and princess so here you have to sit at the separately so he told like that with that uh, what to say with that formalities he had uh, considered as a student and then uh, when he when he was having a battle between a prince and with, uh, between him so he had been won and uh, what his guru said i have made you a human being i have made, i have uh, made you a strong person so what will give the guru dakshina guru dakshina means what is uh, the Uh, what to say? What is the fees or what is the penalty? Whatever it is, penalty no fees. What is the fees for me? What is the fees for me? What is the gift for me? You tell me. Then he said, What is the precious thing of uh, my body or what is the precious thing I have? I will give you. So he said, I want your thumb. Then he just rewind. He had kept uh, near the leg of his guru. So. that have been a touching story which uh, we feel from uh, what to say from a childhood days we have learned that story and whenever even i got the beatings from my teachers for the good even see if i got the beatings then only i have improved na myself then i am going to teach you they are watching me and they are telling wow very good we have bet you so much so you got that it is not like teachers beat you teachers trouble you it just make you to improve some teachers they have a uh, different different knowledge skill so they teach you in the different way some they teach you in the different way so it is like that it is understanding from us it is that whenever your teacher is talking to you harsh don't feel like harsh she is saying the correct you should think and you should do the correct work next time she will not speak to you okay and no one wants to hurt anyone why they will hurt any uh, enemy is there any uh, you are the enemy of a teacher or you are the uh, enemy of a student no we are not like that so it is for your sake we are doing the work for your sake you want you will, if you are going up your name will become famous we will feel proud he was our student we feel a preciousness it is what a golden words you know so we can we can many students are there they will go forward but they will not keep it in the mind that our teachers were there you should keep that also what see step by step from lkg to ukg you are learning uh, everything from every teacher one teacher will make you to catch up and say one teacher will make you to maintain a book see step by step you are learning you must not think amma what that teacher has taught me anything they will teach you but they will teach you it is like that so here he was very uh, what to say dedicated to his teacher he was a devotee of his teacher you think like that so whenever if uh, and see and a guru also gave him what uh, he had made a made a cheek after dying like this is the story like this is his biography we are going to discuss far away so that he is a dedication to his guru was great and speaks of his great humility yes many people if they are having a family sometimes they become selfish but some people they will not selfish they leave all the things and they will come for only educating the children educating the students like that they were a hospital comma is the city is a name of a place a village in hangal taluk in dharwad district we should feel uh, what to say proud because putraj gavai have been born here so i feel i felt very proud because we are from this karnataka and many precious gems gems are there okay many precious pearls many precious diamonds have been born and i think so in our students are also there many are there. 
you are like a precious things for us so district is a place of pilgrimage for devotees of shiva devotees you know that who uh, who are more uh, what to say who are more supporting who wouldn't take any decision uh, what to say who will not take a decision beyond god beyond god they will not go so many uh, i heard that there is a temple very big temple there so it is a lord it is of lord shiva there you know pious couple pious means you know that so your old people are there they they will tell us first you should wipe the home you should uh, sweep the home then you should do the uh, whatever puja you should worship the god it is like that pious means like that we so they are very uh, what to say they are very uh, supportive to god they love god they want only everything whenever they are sitting also when they wake when they are standing also they say oh god he they will tell the god names okay they want a big god so like that lived a pious couple named vaimini and siddama a boy was born to them on 3rd march 1914 in his mother's native land so a boy was born who was that boy doctor putra i have to give the respect to him i can't leave without the doctor because he had got an honor to be have to give the honor to him so there a boy was born to them on 3rd march 1940 in his mother's native place they were very near karajigi in haveri district haveri district is near what to say near karajgi in haveri district haveri district you know very well many singers many uh, poets have been born there so they named him putaya the child was very attractive with bright eyes the parents were very happy and their joy knew no bounds see what happens suddenly a little has little boy or little angel have been born sudden the home becomes uh, home becomes like what you know plenty of happiness will come in the home because when we are watching a small boy or girl a toddler we can say them toddler or infant so when they when we see them how they are uh, crying how they are shaking their legs how they are shaking their hands it feels happy for us it feels nice for us so nice so like it is a precious thing which has been born which has been given by god to us we feel very happy with the small child so we can't share the happiness with everyone our happiness will be in the home with the people with the relatives we will share it till bit but whole we can't so the child was very attractive with bright eyes some people they have the very nice eyes iq uh, level so the parents were very happy and they joined you know mom they were not having any boundary or bounds they want to share with everyone it was like that they were not having a words to say about their beautiful of you what to say uh, adorable cute boy so but providence had a different game to play when putaya was not even 6 months old his eyes became infected so it is what when he was a 6 month boy then only he became blind it happens what to say fate should be there our misfortune our fortune should be good so it is that he had moved his eye then only he had become a popular person i think so so his eyes became infected the condition of the child aggravated and the mother tried various medicines okay what happened day by day he was seeing less 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 aggravated means you can see day by day what happens he was having the problem more he was facing he got the infection in his eyes day by day day by day he was infecting the from that problem now what to do and the mother tried various medicines 
medicines that time many people were trying many medicines homeopathic yunani and uh, this allopathics was also there everyone was trying all the thing but what happens is uh, my native doctors one such suggestion proved to be deadly in his losing the eyesight at early age this was a big blow to the family so it is like what you know something got a problem that like, uh, polio was there at that time if any boy or girl got polio they see from birth they they cannot see but some days after few days it appears it was like that so after few days they have come to know that their child was blind it was infected something was infected in his eyes the eyes got damaged okay this was a big blow yes after getting a child they are getting a problem from him how how we are getting a problem father mother are suffering from that they are suffering from the child's problem they even not sleep when the child is suffering ill they just take care of his child or her child okay miss fortune struck him in succession put away lost his father when he was just two years so when only he was when he was toddler two years boy toddler okay when he was a toddler he lost his father what was the age nothing he was very small to understand he had lost his father so again what happens he is maternal uncle Okay, what do you mean by maternal children? What do you mean by maternal? I know that uh, many people come maternity house in your brain or like that, like that. I just think so. Maternal uncle is nothing but mother's relative, mother's brother, mother's brother. Or any relative. So here, who have supported him, he he should be he is thankful to that person. Who is he? His maternal uncle, which is Chandrasekhar Iya, took him under his care. Many uncles, like maternal uncles, they are very supportive to children. So you should thank after your father to them. So they are very thankful to you people and thankful to us also. We should also thank for them. Okay. So under his care, then came a turning point in the life of Kutaya. A turning point came in the life of Kutaya. One day, what happened? Chandrasekharya had been to his field. So fields, farmlands are there. Many old people they were having the farms that time. They were the farmers. The boy Kutaya was sure that nobody was nearby and took his uncle's harmonium. So he was having a love and care for his harmonium. See, many people they have like a small boy, a toddler boy or a six month boy. If you want to share his joy with other person, he will not share. He or she will not share. Why? Because it is his. He will think about that. That toddler will think. It is mine. I should uh, share with anyone. So like that, Chandrasekharaya was also having. I think so from the birth, he was a uh, uh, what to say. He was loving that musical instrument, which is harmonium. So here, first time, Kutaya had touched that harmonium and he took and he was playing on that. So one day, Chandrasekharaya had been to his field. The boy Kutaya was very sure that nobody was. Nearby and took his uncle's harmonium and sat. So there, the boy Kutaya took the harmonium and sat, and he was starting to play. Play on it. After some time, returning home, Chandrasekharaya heard from a distance sound of playing his harmonium. He heard heard. See, my voice is echoing here, and my voice will be suddenly in the. Uh, phone in the mobile in the computer. So it happens now when we are hearing she is uh, her classes uh, on online. Her cl classes live. So like that, what happens? We will hear the voice and we can tell. 
So, like that, what happens? Chandrasekhar Iyer heard a noise and he came. And he saw what? Heard from a distance, someone playing with his harmonium. He instantly flew into a rage. He could not tolerate others handling his harmonium. Who? Like that, he did. Open his mouth. He had opened his mouth. Chandrasekhar Iyer. How you are doing like that? He was asking the question to him. So, uh, and he instantly flew into a rage. That one, uh, what to say, this, uh, what to say, a melody we can hear, a sound we can hear, or not, what to say, a beautiful noise, what to say, sound we can hear from the musical instrument, which is the raga. He could not to tolerate handling his harmonium. He came closer. He was filled with wonder and delight when he heard a sweet melody. When he heard that harmonium, uh, what to say, harmonium music, harmonium music, he heard that he heard that melody, sweet song, uh, in the that was played by Kutaya. He came there and he heard and he was delighted. He, his expression was delightful and he was giving a smile. Also, he was watching that boy and he was watching his harmonium. It was his nephew, Kutaya. So tears of joy rolled down his cheeks and he embraced the boy. He just pulled the cheek of the boy and he turned the cheek and he just ha was having a tear in his eyes. Who's the maternal uncle of Kutaya, Chandrasekharaya? He just pulled that boy and gave a hug to him. Gave a hug and embraced him with full of love and joy. So Kutaya's grasping power was a matter of wonder. Yes, some children they are having a nice general knowledge. But they are uh, backward. We shouldn't say backward. They are having a level. They want to maintain that only. They don't want to go in the power classroom. But what happened? They have they have the nice intensity, they have the nice knowledge of grasping power. If you ask any question, they can answer. If you ask about the maths, they will give the answer. If you will ask chemistry, biology or any general knowledge, they can answer. So they have, I told now, they don't have, some boys or some girls, they, they are not uh, having a, what to say, you know, only first of one thing, they have more things to learn. He learned everything about music within a short time from his maternal uncle, but it was evident that there was in him an unquenchable thirst. What do you mean by unquenchable? I'll tell you about that. Unquenchable is nothing but a thirst which is not filled. See, when we are thirsty, we need a water. When we are hungry, we need a food. So like that, unquenchable which will be not fulfilled. So he was having a thirst. What was his thirst we are going to learn? About knowing all the things. He, he was having a nice knowledge. The uncle thought of competent teacher to teach him. Because he was a music lover. His uncle came to know that. So what happens there? Now he, uh, his uncle, maternal uncle, Chandrasekharaya, wants him to learn more. Want him to gain the more knowledge from a nice teacher. So let us see in the power, power para. So he took him to Pandit Panchakshari Gawai. See page number one zero eight. You should see the third para children. He took him to. Carefully, you see what is the name of the teacher of Pandit Putraj Gavi. He took him to Pandit Panchakshari Panchakshara Gavi, the pontiff of Vineshwara Punyashrama. He was a pontiff in nothing but Chi. And this one, which cannot be full filled. Which cannot be fulfilled and parting means cheese. Okay. So it was like that. 
there was in him an unquenchable happen so his his teacher name who have taught him the uh, knowledge of music his name was पंचाक्षर पंचाक्षर गवई अ ची मदर ची ओके ही वाज अ टीचर ऑफ हुम ही वाज अ टीचर ऑफ पंडित रस गवई under the particular care he was like a father to him he was like a father to him paternal means he was taking like a care like a father okay and expert guidance of panchakshara gavai kutaya mastered both he was mastered he was having master degree in that both hindustani and carnatic music carnatic means it is a foreign music foreign music also he have learned and from it what to say hindustani here we need what what things here we are having what what uh, what to say musical instruments from where how to create the music here also we learned and from the foreign country also he learned all the music so and so became ubhaya gana vishara he got that title he got that award he got that honor as ubhaya gana vishara म्यूजिक Kutaya also learned to play many musical instruments such as the veena, tabla, yes, veena, veena, tabla, veena, tabla, tabla, and diluba. And within come the other shehnai. Shaina is the most famous played by whom he had died. He was very famous person. Bismillah Khan. He was having a magic in his uh, when he was playing a Shaina. And the Sarangi and was recognized as an Sarangi. Sarangi and was recognized as an outstanding musician. He was just as an outstanding musician because see, only one person can what one person can keep every uh, one knowledge of music play. But what happens? The other person, what happens here? They cannot play everything. Only they can play one music. so there now what happens you will see he attained a high degree of mastery he degree he attained a high degree of mastery over all of them he is a guru pandit panchakshara gavai also initiated him into the study of literature literature you know that languages languages also he made him improve he arranged for the teaching of the celebrated works like shabara shankara vilasa rajashekara vilasa and jamini bharata so here he arranged the teaching of this all uh, languages in that drama da there in that poems da there these things he had made them understood 
so also run dry dry i told you what is that when i started the lesson i told you the handwriting for what the handwriting for the blind people sorry for that i have i have told you the blind people so it is not like that all should learn all should come to know what is that so here the script for the visually challenge it is a white thing for the visually challenged people having mastered kannada hindi and sanskrit also he was mastered in that handwriting only everything he got a master degree master degree means like uh, master in music master in uh, kannada master in this like this ma you are doing in the languages okay pandit putraj author or 80 out standing work which include puranas biographies drama commentaries and text on music so here he wrote a book on music he had written a book on music that includes the puranas biographies the dramas all things he wrote in the braille handwriting in a book notable among them are the plays which are Many people they many people they kept under their what to say under their brain the drama the plays which are famous I'll tell you see Kumarishwara Kavya Akka Mahadevi Purana Sati Supanya and Puratana Puratanara Puraba Sharanara Basaveshwara Purana Guru Sis Guru Sudha and Sangeeta Shastra Jnana are his works on. Music. He wrote this many music, which he kept the name as Sri Kumarishwara Kavya, Akka Mahadevi Purana, Sati Sukanya, Puratanara Parava, Sharanara Basaveshwara Purana, Guru Sudha, and Sangeeta Shastra Jnana. So he wrote totally only seven, seven work. But he wrote many. But which are which are notable, which are famous among people? These are the music books. These are the music books which he had written from his hand. So here, his translation of Siddhanta Sikhamani from Sanskrit and Basava Purana from Kannada to Hindi are commendable. See, a blind person without making a mistake. Can you imagine he can write in Kannada or in Hindi? Hindi is similar to Sanskrit, but we can imagine that a blind person can write. But he wrote. He wrote in a correct way, and that too, it was uh, what to say, commenting. Everyone there commenting to him, and they gave the comments to him. How they gave the comments? You see. He is the Basava Purana and Hindi won the appreciation of then the President of India, Doctor Rajendra Prasad. Doctor Rajendra Prasad, I think you you know very well. He is the famous president of our country. Rajendra Prasad, like his work, like his appreciation by reading that. Books which he has translated in Kannada as well as in Hindi, which was that Basava Purana. Okay, Basava Purana. In Hindi, won the appreciation of then of the. Of the then President of India, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, on learning that the author was blind, the President invited him to his residence and honored him. Yes. After after learning so keenly, after watching that all things, and he asked to help with the author, so the name came and what of uh, what he was, he is a blind. After hearing that he is a handicap, he gave a big honor to him. Okay. They say pen is mightier than the sword. It is true. Many people say this word. 
and I can work from the framework personality goes to that. Yeah, definitely. How even you should learn when is this my turn? Should give the definition to me. How? I will give. Pen is mighter than the sword because you see, sword we can use for everything. Knife also we can use for everything like cutting and doing. But pen when we are using, it is a good job. It is more valuable than compared to the sword. When you are writing anything. Pen works. When you are giving any harsh comments, also the pen works. When you are giving the nice comments, also the pen works. So we cannot say that pen is mighter. We can say that pen is mighter than the sword. Sword can cut the human being. Sword can cut anything. But pen, with the help of pen, a life is also gone. See when the magistrate gave the punishment to a person, they just break, break after writing. They just break the ink with the help of pen only. Always write because it is more mighty than the sword. So we should keep it in our mind. It is true of Dr. Kutraj Gawai, in spite of his. Physical disability. Pani Kuchraj uh, Gawai achieved wonders as the editor of Panchakshara Mind, a newspaper. A newspaper which is Panchakshara Vani, which was which was hired by or which was uh, brought by Pandit Doctor Kudraj Gawai. He was the editor of that newspaper. Whatever thing should come, whatever like written should be come, whatever should be wrote in that newspaper. Every time, everything was decided by him. It was a wonder, really. All in one, he was there to do all this work. He was operating lots of things in that. Okay. A monthly magazine. It is. It is a monthly magazine, which is Panchakshara Vani. A monthly magazine. It is a great contribution in the field of Kannada and Veera Shaiva literature. Yes. Veera Shaiva literature. Veera Shaiva literature. <coughs> <coughs> so only one page is left, one and a half page we have left, uh, which is the biography of Pandit Kutraj Gawai. So today what, what is there? We have learned about his notable work. We learned about his uh, work, which is, uh, what to say, uh, which is uh, appreciated by our uh, late president, uh, Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Many, many things we have learned. And about his knowledge in the music, about his knowledge in literature, all we have learned. So today we are going to wind up our class. Tomorrow again we are going to meet. So tomorrow again we are going to continue from page number 109, the last para, 10, from 100 and, uh, till 110 page number. So we are going to complete it tomorrow. And just uh, notes will be given tomorrow to you. So I'll just wind up the class. Thank you.